All right, folks, we're back. Once you can hear this, let me know if it starts skipping again, and I will make further adjustments, including removing mods if needed. Poor Anna Marie is not subbed to the channel, so she gets ads. So she'll let us know when she's back. No, that's what the mods do. Is it's just modified sprites and fonts and stuff. I have no mods that do anything real heavy. Um, though there was a prereq mod called uh, Memoria or whatever that, if I want to, I can press the F1 key here and make the game go faster. But, oh boy, how useful is that? It also lets you, um, turn off experience gain. <laughs> like, okay, great. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a, it's a modding framework with some built-in tools, but that's it. The game's pretty lightweight, so mods shouldn't be causing skips, unless you have a really poorly written mod. <laughs> Attacked? From the back? How could it be? Right, let's try out built-in auto battle. Whee! So right now, um, all the game settings are set to normal. Oh, look. A map. I didn't expect that. Okay. Trigger. <coughs> Biggs, I'll handle this. Stand back. We're not handing over the Esper. Emir, get them. This is a decisive battle. Hold it. That thing's a... They must have trained it to guard the mines. What are you talking about? You know what this is? Ever heard of a lightning whelk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning and stores the energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. That was about three attacks. Goodbye, Amir. That's one boss down. Almost done with the game. Hey, Tritech or whatever. Triptych? Tryptophan. So this. Who's saying this? So this is the Frozen Esper? I couldn't attribute it to one or the other. This thing's giving me the creeps. 
Something's not right. Girl. The frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Wog! What was that? Wedge? Wedge? Where are you? Hey! What's going on? Girl. I like the new effects. They just get teleported into other Final Fantasies, or did they die? I'm going with the prior. I think they got teleported to, like, Final Fantasy VIII. The Chrono Trigger? Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, Terra. Where am I? Mm -hmm. My, my, not only just remove the crown. My head... Hurts. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Please, there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you in time, that is. My wife is taking umbrage with the voices I'm choosing for characters. A mysterious young woman, born with the gift of magic and enslaved by the Gastalian Empire. Well, I guess we'll go with this, sure. Use this name. Sure. Tam's taken off. Thank you, Tam. Moogle says, I thought their journey, Biggs and Wedge, began in Chrono Trigger. They've been trying to reunite with their lost friend, Piet. <laughs> My name is Tara. Not to be confused with Tina. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Oof, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Open up. We're here for the Magitek Armor Pilot. Open this door right now. Hand over that girl. She's an agent of the Empire. Magitek armor? There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quickly! So what I like about this model is um, it adds a cape to Terra, which is seen in some of the concept art for her. Um, and I thought it'd be neat to do something different than you might normally see. And also I like the idea of celebrating kind of the mod community's work on this. They've kind of embraced it, going whole hog and doing things. Uh, other thing to note with this mod that I'm doing is a modified version of the original Ted Woosley script. So, um, somebody took the so somebody took the Ted Woosley script from the original release, updated it a bit to clean up some stuff and fix some mistranslations, um, and then they released a ROM hack for the original SNES version with that updated script. Well, someone's taken that script, cleaned it up, <laughs> done some updates, added some um, clarifications to kind of be more in line with the modern translations um, where it was necessary, 
and that's this version I'm running instead of the script that ships with the game. Um, and mostly that's to make sure I get the line son of a submarine early. <laughs> Probably not necessary, uh, as I now know how to override individual script lines, and I could just fix that one line, but um, I figured why not. <laughs> Let's see this quote-unquote cleaned up loosely script. Woosley? Woosley? Woolu. Woolusley. Don't can't be wonders if uh, Tara's rescuer here would have been so helpful if she had not been attractive and scantily clad. <laughs> Yeah, Moncappy, ever since the GBA version, Son of a Submariner was replaced with Son of a Sandworm. And that is true in this version as well. So these are called were rats, but they don't look very were. They just look like giant rat heads with feet. Those jaws, they have like a big toad bulbous mouth sack thing going on. It's really gross. On Cappy, there are sandworms in this game that you fight as enemies. It can very annoyingly wipe, annoyingly wipe your party by eating them. I need to heal soon. I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die. If I do not take a potion real soon, I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. I won't die. Oh, listen to that saxophone. Thank you, Uematsu. Loving the new music. My sweet little magic user. <laughs> With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. Burn them all to a crisp. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We have been chosen! The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world! Nothing shall stand in our way! Now let us dance like we're in a rave. Woo! Long live after Gestalt! Please validate my parking! Here's Locke with his new sprite that uh, I've replaced that shows the little bandana from his concept art. Took you long enough. Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume? A treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past.
I pref- I prefer the term treasure hunting. <laughs> Semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyway, is there something you need me to do? There is indeed. I met the girl. Girl? You don't mean... The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Alright, so, you want me to get her out of Narsh? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. She's much better at jumping than she is. Or falling. Oh, that juddering. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Good ball. Moogles? Are you saying you want to help? Good ball. Use us to protect Terra from the guards. Would you like an explanation? No. Alright, here we go. First multi party battle. Take a walk down here. Here. Gonna kill this thing. So let me get some unhealed people. Airfrog says Moguel is his favorite name. Moguel? Moguel? Shield doing work already. We 
have a dead mo Moogle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, just the item for that. I don't mind wasting them. I'm actually using a font mod. Um, I'm using the Play Bold font mod. Um, I did look at the Chicago font, the original FF6 mod uh, font, and I thought it was too pixely and felt I wanted something slightly more readable. And I am aware that not everyone will agree with that decision, but uh, it's the, the call I made. those things where I get that we can make everything look like the original, but like one of the points of these things was of the remaster was to make it better than the original. And for me, the font felt in that category of a thing that I wanted better. That said, the font they ship with it is terrible. <laughs> nothing else and you, you get this game just copy the Japanese font on top of the English font and it's a big improvement this switch ought to You back with us now? You save me? Save your thanks for the Moogles. Ugh. I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory? The man said it would come back. Eventually. So you've got amnesia. Don't worry, I won't leave your side until your memory returns. I'm not going to up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory. I'll keep you safe. I promise. Yeah, Baldicade, that's uh, several of the sprites. Um, Terra, Locke, Celeste, and Shadow have been made to be more Amano-y. Actually, no. Shadow's weird. Shadow's been made to look more like the FF6 sprite, but with the bandana they add in this version sprite. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, Mon Cappy, I do have a version of Terra's sprite that can match her original character design to make it um, blonde. The only reason I didn't do that is because I do not have a corresponding mod to make it match her pictures when they talk which now that I say that I don't think I have the font the thing installed right to have their pictures when they talk because they haven't been seeing the pictures when they talk huh oh right I can go get stuff in the school can't I hey there yep 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 yep, yep. Just little, just freebies give me the free things that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now the chest is a, there's a trap chest. And this says free. Oh, nothing in there. Is this the trap chest room? So I don't want this chest, right? 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess not in this game. Okay. I was confused. Cool. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, this is the one with the... Skip that one. Goodbye. Looted. Now, can I walk fast on the overworld? No. So another thing people are modding that I did not commit to, but it has some other downsides as far as replacing some of the nicer sprite work, or background, excuse me, overworld map look of this game with lower resolution stuff, but people feel the overworld is too bright. There's a lot of mods to make the overworld less bright. Um, and the one that is exactly which I would want to use is currently not working with the latest patch of the game, apparently, so. I may later mod it to have the overworld less bright. Unless everyone's like, no, we like it bright. In which case, I'll leave it. And of course, um, another thing, none of these mods are permanent, so I could change them all up next time. over straight to him and he walks out of my way to tell me to halt <laughs> oh it's you proceed actually it would be more like oh it's you proceed Edgar for Edgar. <clears throat> you mean this young woman is? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution. I am Edgar, the King of Figaro. <laughs> Surprised that someone like me knows a king? Well, I'll catch you two later. So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my... abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. What's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. I'm off to have another Colt 45. Hmm, I suppose some girls would have felt something from those words. But not me. Treasure, treasury. Uh, where else? Go 
we'll see the bedroom scene. <laughs> Mount Cappy suggests maybe Tara would have felt something if it was Celeste delivering those lines. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that before. <laughs> Yes. Uh, no, this is the one I want the left side. Oops. Yes, the bedroom scene, where you you go to like the king's bedroom and it tells you about their past or something. I don't know. It's on brand for Edgar. Good night, uh, Hair Frog. I will have fun with FF6. Edgar has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. So yeah, I went to the king's bedroom for that. <clears throat> All right, Sabin's voice. It's got to be a beefcake. Beef tank. Beef. Beefy. <laughs> Edgar, what's wrong with dad? Why is everyone talking about a successor? No, nope, I don't like the drawl on that. All right, we're going to workshop it. we got to figure out a Sabin voice. Are you blind? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar? Are you crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. So like English Goku, I don't know that I can do that voice. Anyway. Ah, yes, Sabin. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now and what he's doing. His Majesty said he'd marry me when I got old enough. Your Majesty is a criminal. Gone around. I've seen the cutscene. Um, went to that shop. Is this another shop? Is this an item shop? Let's steal your stuff. Okay. I need some potions. So I'm gonna mess up. Oh, these are so expensive. I need some tents too. Uh, no more money. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, there's someone from the Empire here to see you, sire. Kefka, no doubt. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Fooey! Emperor guesses all stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live out in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits. <clears throat> There's sand on my boots! All gone, sir. What I really like is that they don't put text in that represents that particular laugh because I don't know how to make that with a human mouth. 
I'm probably going to have to try at some point. Oh, well. Continuing on. Pathetic idiots! Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you? Get out of my way! I hear you've been down south, taking over a country or three. Just what is the Empire up to? That's none of your concern. You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. An alliance with this miserable little sandpit? Don't make me laugh. What brings Emperor Gestal's own court mage, Kefka? to my humble castle. A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found a refuge here. This wouldn't have anything to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar, you know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. So, my concept might be when he's under control, he's British, and when he loses his control, he's the Joker. I'm not really sure what to do. I'm not a professional voice actor. So, I hope you're willing to put up with my baloney. Thank you for telling the king that Figaro Castle has an alliance with the Empire. That's very good to know. I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to stay and chat. But the Chancellor and I have some planning to do. Being a king's not all tea and crumpets. Now, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. <laughs> Did he go back up the stairs? did I beat I beat him down the stairs <sighs> right and then if I recall when you do this uh, do I have to go back and trigger him I, can't remember. <laughs> I hate when you beat him down the stairs is he in here now please no okay whatever great <laughs> I've lost lock <laughs> Oh, there you are. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest. I'm Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I'm a treasure hunter. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Okay, complete turn in the conversation. Truth is, he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go-between. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us, too. The Empire. But I'm an Imperial soldier. Not anymore. They were using you after... That's all. Things are different now. I, it's just... I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. Try not to think too hard right now. You'll know what you want to do when the time comes. But how will I know which choice is right? Sweetie, you're going to have to make decisions. This is... Yes. Life is hard. Hey, look. Another bedroom scene. What in the...
Hmm. Kefka has somehow figured out how to set stone on fire. He is truly terrifying. What's going on? It's a Ke It's the Empire! Kefka, he... What do you think you're doing? Bring me the girl. Now. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh? Then enjoy the barbecue. <laughs> fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. Fire. <laughs> okay. Beavis and Butthead with him. Get her ready. Yes, sire. Had a change of heart? It seems I have no choice. <laughs> to jump on a bird and break its back from high heights. Or perhaps I do. Oh my, the brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful. <laughs> Jump. All right, sink her into the sand. Yahoo! So all Kefka needed to do was go back in the door, right? Figaro dive mode engaged. Witness the glory of Figaro. We can retreat our entire castle underground. <laughs> I don't want any. I don't want any. Go away. <laughs> the glory of Figaro. I'm hiding. Go! Kill them! Apparently, Magitek armor goes faster than Chocobos. But not when I'm walking around in town. So, we do fire, so everyone freaks out. What's the matter, Edgar? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? <laughs> you, 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 you see what I saw? You did, right? Right? Yeah, this kid's really something, huh? Really something? That was magic! Magic! M -m 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 magic? She used magic? Tara? Your name was Tara, right? What... What exactly was that just now? Oh, I'm sorry, I... No, we're the ones who should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. Nor did I, it just... surprised me. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... It doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Tara can use magic and we can't. That's all there is to it. The fact is, her magic can really help us right now. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. I never understood the look on their face there. Are they attracted to her or accepting their apologies? There's yeah, whatever. Bravo, Figaro! Son of a sandworm! You'll pay for this! That was great. Oh! Wait! The script mod didn't happen! Son of a submariner is supposed to be with that line there! 
The whole purpose of me modding the script, it didn't work. <laughs> Tara, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Like, like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Magic is going to be key to winning this war. Magic. That Esper reacted to your magical powers. There's got to be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with the powers you have. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. Terry, you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Bannon. He may be able to help you find out more about why you have them. Please, Edgar's right. There's a cave just south oh, there's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. So Tam, the chat has reminded me of something important. <clears throat> Don't get chests in here because they upgrade later. Which is a good point. I'm going to stop getting chests in here.
Right. Ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Back off, Locke. That guy looks familiar. He comes and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Yeah, that's Shadow, all right. He's an assassin. He'd kill his own best friend for the right price. Guess we'd better steer clear of him. Leave us. The dog eats strangers. Out of my way, I gotta get this cider over to the old timer, cause see, some of us have jobs. Oh, so you do cider delivery, do you? That's some interesting information to have for later. Find out what the original line was there. Tam asked, is the original line that he'd kill his own mom for his nickel? And uh, we're going to find out. As we have that script right here. Here he'd slit his mama's throat for a nickel. Side. Uh, oh, look at the water. Shiny. Right, I'm not opening that. I'm not taking that. I'm waiting. Oh, sprint shoes. Thank you. 
So I tend to do poorly once I get to Mount Colt. Whoops. Have an achievement for thrifty spending. So Tam is letting me know that there's a cave here with a knife for, for locks on there. So, since I'm gonna need more levels to take on Vargas anyway. Let's take a look for that.
Bulbacade reminds me that if I die on the Vardis fight, I will go back to the save point that I would last saved at, but I retain my experience. So I don't need to be as worried about it as I was, necessarily. Don't know how to get to that secret path, Tam. to the save point, but let's do business. getting on this bridge. I've always hated getting on this bridge. I'm always approaching the bridge from too far to the right or too far to the left. It's oh. that man gosh
Sabin sent you here, didn't he? He jumps on me. Who are you? Sabin, is he here? You are the one sneaking around us the whole way up here, weren't you? And if I was... If, well, it doesn't matter who you are, I have no intention to surrender. Woe is the day you met me. It'll be the last day of your lives. Aipu. Why are they called Aipu? Is it to answer the question of whether bears poo in the woods? Okay, yeah, sure. Does Vargas care that she used magic? No. Nobody else seems to care that she uses magic. I figure. wall to the great beyond. Alright, so what was I doing? That's enough, Vargas. No, that ain't it. Ah, if it isn't Sabin. Why, Vargas? Why did you kill Master Duncan? How could you murder your own father? The fool snubbed me his only son. He chose you as his successor. That's not true. Our master... It's showing you know it. It's written in that ugly sneer across your face. He wanted you to be his successor. Not me. He knew you had the most potential. I'm sick of listening to your lies. I've got far more than just potential. Why don't you see it for yourself? Blizzard Fist. Sabin, my father was right to see so much in you. I guess there's no avoiding this. Fate, fate made us train together, and now fate will send you to your doom. Now. Get ready to join your beloved master. Come on, what's the matter? Blitzes are much easier. <laughs> much more forgiving. Time to put an end to this. I need to use a blitz technique. I just used one. Like the master taught me. Select Raging Fist. Oh, okay. See, I was looking for Pummel. I knew that's the one it wanted, but... Why hold back, Sabin? Why would I rename Cyan to JC Servant, Mighty Tan? learned that technique? Vargas, if only you hadn't been so consumed by pride. I'm sorry, I gotta find Sabin's voice, because this ain't it. I don't know how to do a Goku voice. It's just 
just a goofy normal voice, isn't it? Sudden. Edgar? My brother? Twin brother. So does that mean he has the um, Colt 45 voice too? Brother? You're his twin brother? His brother? At first I thought you were another one of Vargas's bears. You thought I was a bear? <laughs> I guess I'll uh, take that as a compliment. Anyway, Edgar, what are you doing here? We're on our way to the Saber Mountains. To the, re to the Returner's hideout, no doubt. So the wheels are finally turning. I've been watching from a distance, hoping the world would come to its senses. The way things were going, I was afraid Figaro would end up as a puppet state. Oh yeah, I could li I could rename him Lurky in like 14, yeah. Talking about science still. A means of striking back has presented itself. There will be no more playing lapdog to the Empire. I'm through with that act. Think a bear like me could be of any help? Sabin. You join us? <laughs> Boss points out, why does everybody know where the Returner's secret hideout is? <laughs> I think Duncan would rest easier knowing his training helped bring peace to the world. Well then, let's get going. sobbing voice but yeah it could just be Billy D. Williams but not trying to pick up a lady whereas Edgar is always trying to pick up a lady King Edgar this way, please. Oh, Bannon, get in my party and give me those sweet free heals. Bannon, we brought her with us. So, this is the girl, the one to whom the Esper responded. Esper? It seems the Empire had complete control over her. Carrier pigeons have kept me informed. I also heard that she wiped out 50 Imperial soldiers in mere minutes. No, that's not... Tara. For heaven's sake, Ben, and the girl doesn't remember anything. Hiding from the truth won't change it. Perhaps you've heard this story before. Once, when people were still pure and innocent, there was a box they were told never to open. But someone went and opened it anyway, and so unleashed all the evils we know today. Pride, envy, greed, wrath, gluttony, forgetting the voice that you're doing midway through, saying the line. The only thing that remained in the voice was a single ray of light, hope. Your power is a gift. Yeah, I guess he's more of a Sean Connery. Your power is a gift, not a curse. No matter what happens, you must remember that. You are this world's last ray of light. Our final hope. Bannon. 
I've grown weary with the hour. Allow me to rest for a while. The Empire took someone important from me. I've hated it ever since. If no one stands up to the Empire, more people will be left like me. That's why I joined the Returners. But there's no one important in my life. I have no family, no friends. That's not true. And even if it was, I'm sure there are people who feel you're important to them. Those people could be counting on you. say no to him three times and I get the better item? Is that how it works here? I, I don't know what to tell you, but I do know that I trust my brother completely. He's always thought of my needs before his own ever since we were little. I think you should trust him too. But don't tell him I said that. He'll turn red as a tomato. <laughs> Mon Cappy thinks I'm flying through the game. Um, you can really get through the, the scenario split just within a few hours. So This early part's fast. It's not easy asking so much of you. And if we force our ideas on you, we're no different from the Empire. So we want you to decide for yourself. outside just a moment ago. Have you made your decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? Nah. I see. Have you made your decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? Nah. I thought as much. If you made your de yeah, nah, nah, nah. there's really no convincing you. Hope. How could anyone put their hope in me? Q dying guy. What's wrong? What's happened? Swoops, they're horrific. South Figaro. The Empire's taken South Figaro. They're headed this way. So they found us. We haven't a moment to lose. <laughs> Luck. I know, someone has to sneak into South Figaro to slow down the enemy, right? This is right up your alley. We're counting on you. Terra, wait for me. I won't be gone long. And watch out for a certain lecherous young king who shall remain nameless. The guy moves in like a hawk. Lock. Edgar, old habits die hard, eh? What about us? We can escape down the Lath River and make our way to Narsh. I'm curious about, about that Esper they found in the mines. Very well. I'll, raf I'll ready the raft by the back entrance. It's risky, but we don't have much of a choice at this point. It's not safe here. Come with us to Narsh. 
It could be a chance for you to gain a better understanding of your abilities. We've no time to tilly-tally. Let's make for Nash. I understand your apprehension, but too many innocent lives are being lost to the Empire while we stand here and do nothing. Please lend us your strength. This relic will help keep you safe. Genji Glove. Who to give that to? Save it for Sobin and Mock scenario. Sobin and Cyan scenario. That's the longest one. But he can't do a hand, can he? Put this on. Oh, this is just a defense plus five now? Whatever. We'll go ahead for now. Aboard the raft? Let's go! Head towards Narsh while protecting Bannon at all costs. If Bannon falls in battle, the journey's over. They changed the name of Suplex.
So one of the usual tricks I would do when playing this as a child was, um, not at this point, but after when we went to the abandoned Terra Edgar scenario, do the thing where you kind of find a place where you can circle around and just have Bannon constantly heal the group and everyone else attack and leave the game on overnight and come back in the morning with lots of levels. everybody, welcome to Ultros. So, I think he should have a similar sound to the lecherous old dude in the Narsh. But, well, maybe not. Hey, what have we got here? Gwee! You're up the creek without a paddle, and I'm not gonna let you through. Does that make me a bad octopus? Yowch! Seafood soup is not on the menu. Up one's a tasty morsel. I'd love to get my tentacles around her. <laughs> Muscle heads? Hate them. Your ugly mug gives me the creeps. So, if you've been um, paying attention, you'll know I made one key mistake in my party setup here. I didn't put Bannon in the back row. For that matter, Terra. And Edgar.
Wee hee hee. I'm Altros. You're up the creek without a battle. Blah 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 blah. Ouch. Seafood soup is not on the menu. Oh, that one's a tasty morsel. I love the bubble bubble boss slurp. heads hate them ouch seafood soup's not on the menu Think it got the point? I wouldn't bet on it. It's probably just hiding down there. Ew! Something stuck to my leg! Terra, get away from there! We should be alright now. Eight arm freak! I'm gonna smash it with a blitz! No! Sobbin! Out of my way, Edgar! Well, he's always been a bit rash. Sabin. Oh, he'll be fine. Are you sure, Bannon? You're his brother. You should know better than any of us. Any second now, he'll flop back up onto the raft, right as rain. Whoa! Think he missed the onto the raft part. <laughs> Sobbin! Sobbin, you're on your own now. Da -da 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 -da. We've got three scenarios. Whee! we save. And then we continue the raft. With the Empire's troops in hot pursuit, Bannon, Edgar, and Terra ride the rapids towards Narsh. But the going won't be easy. Yes, it will.
You, you're that Imperial officer from before. Please, I can explain. Get out of here now or you'll regret it. Let's not get hasty here. I'm King Edgar of Figaro. Liar! My goodness. And that, my friends, is why I can't stand men. It's like they don't even have ears. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. You are now left here without any guidance of what to do and have to remember, oh yeah, I came out of here this way. <sighs> when Locke first rescued me, we came out of the mines right around here. He fiddled with something. Yes, he told me. Twist the tone like so and... Follow the light. Oh, that suck. Yeah, but is there a reason to fight them now if I don't have Gao? Do I have to fight them to show up in the vault? Is that how that works? This must be the place. What place? I'd heard of a cave that it used to test applicants to the city guard. It seems this is it. We should be fine as long as we follow the light. If we make a mistake, lights will surround us. Then we'll have to tag the glimmering orange light to proceed. Yeah, that's for you. The light can't consider that I'm doing this on purpose, can it? I'm just going to go on with it because I, so I hate sitting through this animation. If I mess up, it's because I actually mess up. I love this sax so much. <laughs> Thanks, Sirel, for putting that up. It is pretty good. Yeah, Cyril, I'm doing a special Kupo! Po! Special uh, sprites for some of the characters. 
This this Terra is more like her concept art and has a cape. Bannon, King Edgar, oh, and Sarah, too. Arvish, how do things stand here in Narsh? Same as always, the town's neutral. I've tried to convince them to side with the returners, but it's no use. Of course, maybe with you and the King of Figaro here. How are the townspeople? Everyone's been a little on edge since the Esper was discovered. We believe Terra may be able to help us get answers to the questions about the Esper. Will the townspeople still have plenty of questions of their own? If we approach them in the right way, there's a good chance they'll agree to let her see it. That Esper is either going to save us or dig us an early grave. scenario. Locke has worked hard to stymie the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro, but now he desperately needs to escape. Damn it, gotta make tracks and get to Narsh. Give me your clothing. They're a little tight, but the price is right. Oh, wow! I always have to go and open my mouth. Still clothed on the floor, by the way. Hello. You just beat up a dude in my store, but I don't care. Nice and tense, would you? Can I remember? 
remember the password from 20 years ago. Guess I don't have to. Get shadow. Ooh, but first relics. I don't have those. Darkness, poison, stone, cover. Right, don't pick up potions here either. Darn it. His son is the strongest person in this town, by the way. Oh, you got some new clothes? Give them to me. Why is it so quiet? Wind the clock, wind the clock. Clang, clang. Where's the clock to wind? So that when you get no close to here, it makes a windy sound. That's why there's no sound. Remove the skies? Mm, nah. So, leaving these for later. Okay. Leaving those for later.
A Magitech knight forged by the Empire and tempered in battle. None have ever truly known the woman beneath the general's guise. So originally, she's supposed to get smacked and fall on the ground. They cut that for reasons nobody understands. Like, yes, they're doing a not nice thing to her.
All right, now I get to do two things. One, I'm looking for a gold bear to spawn, apparently. And two, I am looking for treasure. Three, I'm getting attacked, apparently. All right. X potion. Never gonna use that in this game.
Gosh, I keep picking the wrong one. I'm gonna take Runic off my menu. Seems my mic was messed up, so you haven't heard me talk since I named Celeste. Go me. So Tam says we should be looking for a gold bear, so that's what we're doing. Gold bear. Oh, look, a gold bear. Heal. 
So Locke can actually move again. So let's lock on auto attacks of you healing. Him. Stealing. Oh, that rhymes. Stealing and stealing. Stole potion. Not useful. What is that? Something's coming through the wall. Tunnel armor! If that thing hits us with its magic, they'll be scrubbing two big scorch marks off the wall. So what are we supposed to do? Don't worry. I'll draw its magic with my runic blade. And you'll be okay? Just you watch. So slow, they're so slow. Oh my gosh, they're so slow. heal now because if he gets drilled he's dead. So Les needs to heal, so Locke has to do it, so she needs to keep Runic up. Oh, so Finally in the clear. Choose a scenario. That's two scenarios done. And now the longest one. What dire fate has befallen Sabin, who leapt from the raft after the fight with Altros? Mm -hmm. uh, are you a traveler too? 
You don't happen to know how I could get to Nars, do you? I got separated from my friends. The shadows cut up camp just beyond the forest to the east. The Empire? What are they doing there? They seem to have their eyes on Doma Castle. So Doma's next, huh? But I need to get to Narsh right away. Your only road passes through Doma. I can take you there if you'd like. Just know that I may decide to leave you at any time. Death is only a s ever a step behind me. You're the clockmaker. I've been waiting for ages. No, I'm not the clockmaker. There she is, hanging up on the wall over there. Ain't been ticket for a year now. What was it, five years? Shucks, maybe it's been ten. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, got it. Lawnmower repairman, eh? Couldn't provide worse service. Grass 50 feet high out back. No more lip repairman. Fix that stove on the double. It'll be on your conscience when I freeze to death. <laughs> uh, okay. Ouch. Oh, for pity's sake, can you call yourself repairman? Causing trouble just like a kid. A kid. But I don't have any kids. Like, why'd you have to bring up kids? Makes me sick just thinking about it. It's time for you to leave now. Go on, get, or I'll toss you out onto the veld too. I think this old chocobo is missing a few feathers. Alright, we are going to... Oh, right. I have a map this time. Yay, that helps. Just attack. You can do... This is not Elden Ring. I have finished Elden Ring. An Imperial camp. There are an awful lot of soldiers here. Hey, did you hear? Oh, you mean... Sure, keep your voice down. If Kefka catches us, we're toast. They say Kefka's plotting to oust General Leo and take command of the army. Don't even joke about something like that. If that freak become our general, I'll quit. Shh. What if he hears you? You'll be locked up. All right, all right. Uh oh, here he comes. Quick, back to your post. Hey, you. You keeping a sharp lookout, hmm? Uh, yes, sir, Kafka, sir. What a pleasant surprise. How are you today, sir? Please spare me your petty small talk. Just do your job. And don't let me catch you slacking or I'll make you regret being born. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> like we're going to listen to you, you pompous little. What's wrong with that guy anyway? It's like General Leo got all the good qualities a man could have and Kefka got stuck with the leftovers. Sure. I just told you to keep it down. How many times are you going to make me say it? You've got to be more careful. General Leo may be a decent man, but Kefka, that guy's twisted. Tell me about it. You there. We're about to storm the castle. The two of you will join the assault squad. Get moving. Charge! Uh, uh, I'm jumping. I can't get up, but I'm jumping. Can I get onto the castle by jumping? It is hopeless. We cannot keep them out for long. So, this is it. Wait! Actually, I guess this should be like the samurai voice, yes. The battle is not yet lost. A noble warrior of a foreign land, a faithful retainer to his lord and master. He fears not even death. If we can but fell their commander, they should break rank and withdraw. I shall meet him on the field of battle. Sir Sion, please defeat our commander. I am Sion, retainer to the King of Doma. Ready thine axe. I will defeat you with the power of my mustache. Push it off. Oh, jeez. Uh huh. Will that work on this guy? Let's see. Gosh, just choosing it from the menu seems like cheating. It does. Captain were defeated! Retreat! Our strategy of trying to jump up the wall isn't going to work. Withdraw into the castle. We shall wait within its walls while our enemies grow tired without. Kick it. Ugh. Ow. Uh-oh, almost heard that. Okay, I could just walk in front of you. <laughs> I didn't realize that. General Leo, sir, the domains appear content from the waiting game. So, they're using their favorite strategy. General, we've ready to storm the castle as soon as you give the order. Patience. If we attack now, there will be too many unnecessary casualties. 
but general, I'm prepared to lay down my life for the Empire at any time. You're from Miranda, aren't you? Huh? I mean, yes, sir, I am, but why do you ask, sir? You would have me go there and deliver the news of your passing to your family? What would I say when I handed them their sword? How could I even look at them? You're a human being before you're a soldier. Don't be so eager to throw your life away. Emperor Gestahl wouldn't want you to die for nothing. Yes, sir. I got bad news. He's going to get paralyzed. <laughs> General Leo, sir, a carry pigeon, why from Emperor Gesta? What? The Emperor summons me. I must return at once. Understood, sir. I'll leave the rest in your hands. Yes, sir. Listen to me. Don't rush things. That's all I ask. Sir, leave it to us, sir. Don't let me down. So that's General Leo. He may be an enemy, but he seems like a decent man. <coughs> Probably always hear me coughing right before doing Kefka. Once Leo's gone, I can turn this water into a flowing river of poison. Anyone who touches it will be pushing up daisies. <laughs> I'm afraid the Emperor has called me back home. Try not to cause any trouble in my absence. <laughs> I'll take care of things faster than you ever would. Nothing dirty, Kafka. They may be our enemies, but they're still human beings. Try not to forget that. We need not sell mercies to those who side with the Returners. Which is good, because I'll never seem to have any other stuff. Or what's going on? I'm being told there are stream issues? Is the poison ready? But General Leo said... Leo's not here anymore. I'm in charge now, so fork it over! Some of our people are being held prisoner inside the castle. If any of them were to drink the water... Who cares? They're the ones who were stupid enough to get caught by the enemy. Oh, I'm not on the camera. Yeah, I'm not on the camera, guys. You're inhuman. God, pass it every turn. Guess I'll have to take care of you. Ouch! Kefka, wait! Wait, he says. Do I look like a waiter? You just don't give up, do you? Kept away. Do I look like a waiter? God, how long do you expect me to put up with this? Next time I won't hold back. Oh, gripe. This is getting tiresome. Hey, you. Handle the rest. Oh, me? Oh, no.
That works. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing beats the sweet music of hundreds of voices screaming in unison. <laughs> so, Siam, there's a great deal of activity in the Imperial camp. They may be preparing another assault. Does the water not look a bit odd? And now everyone gets really tired. Oof. Ah! <laughs> oof, oof. Oof, sploosh. Ow! Sir Cyan. It must be poison. What low down contemptible. We must warn the king. The king. To the king with all haste. Yes, the throne room is just ahead. That's where I was going. Like. Why did you even put me in control just to... Your Majesty! Who's the... Cyan, y Your Excellency! Oh, Cyan, My sight is failing. I cannot see your face. Excellency, please! You must be strong! Cyan, You have defended this realm since the days of my father before me. I thank you for your service. Uh, forgive me. I failed to protect our kingdom. No, Excellency, the fault lies not with you. I fear for your family. Oh, my chest burns with every breath. Speak not, my lord. Save your strength. Go. <coughs> your family. <gasps> Excellency! Some of those costs were legit. <laughs> Sir Cyan! There still may be survivors in the castle. Let's split up and search. Elaine, do not leave me, Elaine. This, this is unpardonable. Oh, Wayne. Just uh, throw you on the floor here. No, no. This is not possible. This cannot be happening. The Empire must pay for this! I am Cyan, retainer to the King of Doma! Enemy, all men to your positions. Let me give you a hand! I know not thy name or allegiance, but I welcome thy name! Up and apparently taking a nap. <laughs> he must have drank in the water. <laughs> no experience for that. Yep. 
Grr. Oh, darn my enemy as well. Ow. Ouch, probably shouldn't have gotten in the middle of that. These ones next. Grr. They are tougher than they would appear. Poison the river! Look, I think we're gonna have to do this together. The thought had occurred to me as well. in thy depth. Not at all. I'm Sabin from the Kingdom of Figaro. We should get out of here. But I must avenge my family and my countrymen. If we stick around any longer, we'll have an entire regiment down our throats. There they are. This way. Oh boy. I have an idea. Follow me. The part time where Shadow just runs off and gets his own Magitek armor. So Sabin, what manner of armored beasts might these be? I'll explain later. Just climb in. So Sabin, how does one manipulate these abominations? Oh, for... Thou art getting to be quite a pain in the... Great, now I'm even starting to talk like you. Listen, see that lever? The one by your hand, push it down. Sir Sabin, it appears to be in reverse. Yeah, yeah, come on. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Ah, I cannot stop this monstrosity! Okay, let's bust our way out of here. Yeah, so Saab and I'm going with, like, always straight and positive, muscly and not intelligent. And uh, Edgar is basically Billy D. Williams. Train to board. Come on. Bonus kill. Okay, I think we should be safe now. So how do I get to Narsh from here? Narsh? I believe the only route passes through the forest to the south. But... Alright. If we're going into the woods, I guess we won't be needing these hunks of scrap metal anymore. Let's get going. Yes, I made it to the Phantom Drain. Oh wait, I'm not actually there yet.
Well, I, I would say I can remember where to go, but they're just going to give me signs for it, so whatever. A train. I thought all of Doma's railways had been destroyed in the fighting. There could be survivors. Let's take a look inside. Hey, looks like we can get in through here. Sir Sobin. We can't just wander around out here all day. We have to check inside. Sir Sobin. Don't worry, it'll only take a second. Sir Sobin! What's with this place? We must leave at once! This is the Phantom Train! It's moving! We must get off this train at once! The door won't open! I fear we are too late. What did you say this train was? This is the Phantom Train. It carries the souls of the departed to their final destination. Wait a second. You're saying this train's giving us a one-way ride to the afterlife? Unless we find a way off, I'm afraid that is exactly where we will end up. Well, I'm afraid that's a trip I'm going to have to pass on. If it won't let us off, then we'll stop it ourselves. Let's make for the engine. You know, the engines. This way, right? What's with this guy? He seems to want to accompany us. Sure. Stop it. I think it would be best not to touch that. Oops, my hand must have slipped. What? Oh, thou art truly insufferable. Cyan, you're not scared, are you? W -w what does thou mean? Tis not as though I have an aversion to machines. Or try to stay as far away from po them as humanly possible, or anything like that. So, you're afraid of machines. Ah, what gave it away? See what portrait they give him. Oh. Hmm. Well, that didn't work right. Cool. Look out!
So I have a mod affecting all the character portraits, and I think it messed up the ghost portrait. A lot of the mods I'm using are still in their relatively early days of existence, because the game's not that old. So they need to work out some kinks. Tim, what are the enemies I'm looking for inside here? Blue flaming skeleton and oversoul. Huh. No escape. They're coming after us. There are more of them this way. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, no escape for you. What is this, a new musical number? Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, no escape for you. Okay, we got it. Yep. You just don't let up. I believe we have reached a dead end, Sir Sobel. All right. Hast thou an idea? Yes. The time has come. Come, Simon. Yahoo! Probably not the Yahoo is going to. No escape! They couldn't still be. Oh boy. They just don't let up. We'll have to detach the rear cars. Good thing there's a switch for that right here. And that Cyan isn't scared of this switch. So, does that mean they're never going to the afterlife? Wondering. Oh, man, I gotta go around. Oh. I need to do this again. It opens the door? Yeah, that's right. Oops. Where's my sort button? if it's supposed to be a silly scene. No escape, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Is that a silly s scene? Anime has suggested that's a silly scene.
wind says it's a bonfire ripoff, whatever that is. Oh, bonfires are like, okay, this is the continuation of, this is like Dark Souls, right? Because every game's like Dark Souls. I know, but you said it was a silly scene, and it's not a silly scene letting the cars go. It's them escaping, no escape, no surrender, or something. I'm going to shut up now. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is where we get food. Food, food, bring me everything you've got. Is this... Train's food truly safe to eat? What are you worried about? Can't wage war on an empty stomach. <sighs> Do what thou wilt, sir. I'm sure there is no stopping me. Gobble. Arf. HP and MP restored. Yes, effects removed. Clear the food away, which is clearly not done. But okay, take it anyway. Woo, I'm stuffed. Shall we get moving? All right. Please be seated if you wish to order. Okay, well, we ordered. Let's go around now. Best beer this side of Narsh. Okay. I got an earring. Salmon would wear an earring. Why not? What does it do? Strength of magic. Oh. Like so very, um, that's not good for anybody here. Time for Siegfried. Hold it right there! I am Siegfried, the greatest swordsman in all the world, and that treasure belongs to me. If I were you, you over-muscled moose, I'd grab Grandpa there and run away while you still can. Greatest windbag is more like it. You're the one who had to be, be who had best beat a brave retreat. What? Brazen words for a man about to be spitted upon my blade like a plump and juicy pig! On guard! Here I come! A gun? There's a gun. Hi ya! So weak. <gasps> have had had enough yet? Dog dead. So they did rewrite this, and I thought I'd put on the sw the uh, old script from the SNES version with some few improvements, but um, I messed it up, and I didn't. All bark, no bite. No, it cannot be, but but the last laugh belongs to me. Waha! <laughs> the treasure is mine. Au revoir, my friends. Yeah, I'll see you in the world of room.
Just random tents on the ground, because why not? Don't do drain on a ghost. It doesn't work out well for you. How come the conductor isn't a ghost? Asks Wind. Yeah. I think that's a great question. what his thing is. Oh, it started me at the room? Instead of the actual last save spot? Weird. Genji gloves don't do crap anymore. Why does well use the hyper wrist? As far as I can tell, all the Genji glove does is plus five defense. I kind of wish I had taken the other item instead. Unless I'm just not understanding what it actually does. Come on, try that again. There we go. That's what I want. So, my wife says in the original version of the game, Genji Glove was actually bugged and did things twice as effective as it was supposed to. But I don't know that I agree that the replacement should be... Oh, by the way, yes, you were right.
Do 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 So you're the ones who've been slowing me down. Did you fight Oversoul? I think so, yeah. The big blue hair. Whoa, whoa, Kappa. Um, <laughs> my wife is yelling at me. Why is it Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> I did not expect that attack. I don't remember it. I can't do anything. All right, well, we have one job and one job only. We must suplex. Thomas, the tank engine. Or Thomas will just destroy us, because why not? That's not what I told you to do, Sodom. What does this do? I like that we're outrunning a train, by the way. So if we're not confused anymore, can I do things, please? You know, everyone's berserked. <laughs> it's just gonna wipe me instead. All right. Sure. Why not, Thomas? I swear, if a dog kills it... No. I refuse to accept that. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> Screw you, game. gonna do that again and we're gonna do it right <laughs> where's it gonna start me from I hope I saved recently game has to load when you load the game once you see the map you can move why? I don't know. Oh. I have one job, and it's suplexing this train, and I don't care how many times that dog kills it, I'm resetting until I get it. Healed. No, why not? Let's fix that. Oh, I got hit in that fight. Right. Next. So you're the ones who have been slowing me down. You know, this is. What is this attack? This is new. This is BS. What is this? What even is this?
Go. Suplex the train. Please. Yes! All right, now we can kill it. It's almost dead. Thomas is my mortal enemy. <laughs> oh, I already did it. Okay. Can I do something to avoid a lot of that? Petrification, magic. I can prevent poison. shot that train. I would be upset, but also I'd probably deserve it. Is the game tuning itself easier now? It hasn't done that BS attack to me. See, this is how this is supposed to go. You get some normal attacks, he throws some wheels at you, maybe he does something special and he's dead. What is this RNG? <laughs> Yeah, Interceptor's always been, like, killer damage. Thank you, doggy. I will let you go, but first there is something I must do. I'm telling you, it went to easy mode, because I died twice. Or once. First time I just reset, because the dog won. Seems we have arrived. Who am I glad to be off that thing? My voices are weird, I'm sorry. The faster we leave that train behind, the better. Is that Elaine? Or Wayne? Cyan, was that your wife and son? The train is leaving? Bye, Simon. Please, wait! Elaine! Or Wayne! My love, you made me so happy. Thank you. Dad, I'll keep practicing with my sword so I can protect mom. Where'd they get all the cars back from? I thought we detached them. You know what we should do? Let's commit suicide, everyone! Look at that rainbow! Let's jump to our deaths! This must be Baron Falls! To the south of here lies the Velt. 
"'Tis a wild and dangerous land inhabited by all manner of ferocious beasts. "'But if we turn around and go back, the Empire will be waiting for us. Hmm. "'The village of Moblis lies on the eastern coast. "'If we can make it through the veldt, we could head there. "'I have served my purpose. "'Shadow! "'Thanks for your help. Let's team up again sometime.' Dive into the falls. Just Thelma and Louise did, didn't they? That should hit both of them. It's BS that it doesn't. Notice this waterfall behind is all purple and psychedelic. So you can clearly see that there's a cliff between the water level and the grass. So of course we just went right on to the grass. Oh, wow, ooh, ooh. A youth draped in monster hides, his eyes shining with a warm and gentle light. Are you? Whee. Oh, yeah. You can hear it when it's in the air tonight. Whoa. Yeah, just smack him. Why not? Ow. Whoa! Whoa! You strangers! Go away! Get away from Belt! Okay. You came down Baron Falls. It's unbelievable. It's been flowing even stronger than usual. So I have a question for y'all. How much grinding am I supposed to do on the uh, the belt to get things for cow?
keep trying to pick equip him like Yang with a claw in each hand. For God, I can't do that without a relic that I don't have. If I had a diving helmet, I could get all the way to Ikea. Send a letter for him? Is that not till later? Oops. Not what I meant to do! I forgot this was the same guy! Why is the water purple like the boys in Doma water? I don't know, Tam, you're giving me these nice tips, but I'm thinking I should handicap you, make you phrase them as though they're Dark Souls passages. Or Dark Soul messages, like try finger but whole. Equipment. So let's put the Genji Glove on and see if it works. It works! Alright, so the Genji Glove does dual wield. Why doesn't it say it? There's a description flag.
boing, 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 boing. Blink, 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 blink. What the? What a peculiar child. I am Cyan, and this is Sir Sabin. You Sabin, you Cyan. You want more food? Sorry, all gone. You go, get more for me. You're a regular little munchkin, huh? And you, afraid of me? Oh, you want some of this? Me not want hurt you. Stop looking at me like that. Boink, boink. <sighs> You're pretty tough for a little guy. <laughs> Have fun, you strong. You fall for it! Fall for trick! Shut up. Oh dear, do simmer down, sirs. And thou, O oh wild one, who might thou be? Thou? Thou, thou! Thou, thou! Thou, thou! Thou, thou! Oh, you angry? Cyan! You angry me? Cyan! You angry me? Cyan, you angry me? Listen, his family was just... Okay? Me understand. Me sorry. I'm not mean person. Water under the bridge. Let us not dwell on such things. Sir Gao, I have a feeling we will get along quite well. Wilt thou join us? Ooh, Gao give you present. Give Gao, Gao give Sabin and Cyan nice present. Thanks for food. Right. What matter of rubbish do you suppose he's going to give us? Gao's treasure. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. How shiny can this junk be? Mr. Thou like shiny thing? Mr. Thou's that one over there. A shiny thing, eh? Locke's going to be jealous when he hears about this. Who Locke? He bad man? Maybe he try steal God's treasure? Locke, well, he's... Listen to when someone's talking to you. I believe he's trying to tell us something. Fine. Well, what is it? Here! Here! Shiny thing, here! Where Sabin is, that mobile is. Cyan stand place the river bring you. Gao stand, crescent mountain. Moon shaped mountain, shiny thing there. Well then, shall we be off? I don't know. Cyan has turned into Nigel Thornberry now. I'm sorry. I was going for a mock samurai accent, and now it's a Thornberry. We might as well see what is at this crescent mountain of his. Is it Thornberry? Uh, you know what I mean. Stuffy British. <sighs> Why do we have to invite someone like him along? And moonwalking thou now. There we go. Mr. Thou, hurry up. We leave you behind. I told you before. Er, my name is not Mr. Thou. My name is not Mr. Thou. Kappa. Here's how to build up. Can I get some Kappas in the chat, please? Here's how to build up Gao's skills. Choose Leap. Keep fighting on the belt. And eventually Gao will reappear. It's not a Kappa. Or do we have a replacement for Kappa on this channel? I don't know. When he reappears, he will have learned the attacks of the monsters you were fighting when he left, as well as those you were fighting when he returned. There's some cacta, or kappas, cactarapa. Koopa! Wow! Wow! Use rage, and now please continue your quest. Trippy kappa. Wee! Bye. Okay, so can someone tell me? Oh gosh, it's bright out here. Though honestly, given what the belt is, that's probably more accurate than the way it used to be. But how 
How many attacks should I be grinding? I'm ready to just go in the shadow trench. Be done with the scenarios. Second. Really easily. So if you have attacks in the queue in this version, it will, instead of clearing the queue, um, you'll kill him. And then he runs away and you have to fight him again until he comes back and it's really obnoxious. Right now I'm looking for a stray cat. Your friend! Friend! I join you again. To the cave. Cyan, that shiny, shiny thing of cows is in here. And where exactly might it be found, Sir Gao? Gao, forget. <sighs> Shall we look around? It seems we have no choice.
Is this it? The shiny treasure? Treasure, treasure. Tis, tis aught but a dirty glass bowl. Kind of looks like it would fit over your head. Huh. I wonder if we could use this. It might let us breathe underwater. We'll just all have to share. All right, let's go. And Cyan has no trouble with this. Problem with flipping a switch. No trouble with trusting breathing to an old helmet with no oxygen supply that is only enough for one person's head. Gotcha. These rapids look quite rapid. No kidding. But it's the only way to make it in time to meet up with the others. All right, let's go. Go to the right. Old times, says Mr. Tam. Let's give that a go. Da, 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 da. That's right, kids. You two can take a transatlantic voyage with just a diving helmet and 
trusting yourself to the tides. Oh, we're at Ikea. Let's get some furniture. Looking like his, um... Oh. How dare thee, licentious holler! Off, off with thee! Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Let's just have some fun. How do you like these? I call this one Humpty and this one Dumpty. Oh, this is in the... Mm. All right. uh, Humpty? Dumpty? Cyan, you're being too thin-skinned. Thou art unaffected by these charms? One of the benefits of all my aesthetic training. Oh, don't leave me standing here all alone. Enough of that. A woman should have modesty and, and decency. And rant, 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 rant. Oh, Cyan. You with your morals. How dare you. Not jump in the first woman you see as soon as your wife dies. Nosh is just a stone's throw away. I wonder if the others arrived safely. I am sure they did. Wow. The three groups have arrived in Narsh, and now a decisive battle is about to unfold. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But you're asking us to spill our blood for you. It's not what we asked. But it will be the result. Oh, you're absolutely right. Bannon! We're asking you to spill your blood. Emperor Gestal is racing to acquire ever greater Magitek power. That's the reason he watched the Esper that was discovered there. If we allow the Empire to continue expanding its Magitek arsenal, history's greatest mistake will be repeated. The War of the Magi. The legendary conflict that... Oh. A legendary conflict that laid waste to the world. You're saying it could happen again? I had thought humans to be wiser creatures. Edgar! Subin, you're alright. Who have you brought along? I am Cyan, a warrior of the Kingdom of Doma. Wow! Go! The Empire killed everyone in Doma, down to the last child. Kefka poisoned them. Barbaric. Elder. But that was because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. As long as Narsh remains neutral, we have nothing to fear from the Empire. Think again. Lock. The Empire is poised to attack Narsh as we speak. What? 
Locke, where did you manage to get your hands on information like that? Celestia was one of the Empire's general... So it is her. I thought she looked familiar. Sir Cow, step aside! The infamous General Celeste. The woman single-handedly responsible for the sack of Miranda. Stand and meet thy judgment, Imperial wretch. Wait. Celeste has promised to join the Returners. She's fighting on our side now. Be that as it may, I promise I'd protect her and I won't give up a woman I've sworn to protect. Luck, you still haven't gotten over that, have you? I was also an Imperial soldier. What?! The Empire is evil, but that doesn't mean that all of its citizens are. I'm gonna have to defer to my brother on this one. The Empire's marching on Narsh. Oh jeez, we don't have long. I don't care what you have to do, just give me that Esper! Kafka, sir, what about the civilians? What about them? Kill them all! But sir, Narsh is a neutral city. Idiot! Read my lips! Mercy is for wimps! There's a reason oppose rhymes with dispose. If they get in your way, kill them! March! Seems the choice has been made for us. Let us make ready for war. They're here for the Esper. We've, We've moved it up into the cliffs above the valley. And that's what will make us stand. Locke has a complicated past. Don't go falling for him now, thinking he was protecting you out of love back there. Thanks for your concern, but I'm a soldier, not some love-starved twit. So much for my next suggestion. Tara, who'd have thought we'd meet again like this? You can use magic too, can't you? But it's different than mine. I was raised to be an Imperial Magitech Knight. When I was still very young, I was artificially infused with magic. Is it possible for you to love other people? Are you mocking me? <laughs> this question is still as awkward and weird in this script than the other script. Do not even think for a moment that I trust thee. Fine, use your own eyes, and see for yourself which side I'm on. Alright. from Kafka. Would you like an explanation, Kupo? Oh, I can do a better move than that. All right. Well, anyway. All right, we got Celeste. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah right. I like thematic parties, so locking the ladies. Film our Figaro bros 
And Sir Thou. Done. Here they come. Here they, here they come. Ooh, if it isn't General Celeste, the traitor. Excellent. Now I won't have to hunt you down later. <laughs> Can't do it. Go, get those vile insects.
Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, right. I can't attack him with magic either. So oh, Runic is kind of a hard counter to Kefka. Don't think you've won. Please. Peace ring. Good. I won't forget this. And he spins around and disappears. Where's the Esper? Is it all right? Ooh, the Esper's safe. It also appears to be alive. Is that even possible? Terra, what is it? Hmm. 
No! Terra and the Esper. They're trying, they're reacting to each other. What, what is this I'm feeling? Hmm? Did you say something? Please, tell me! Who am I? Who? Terra! The Esper. It's responding to her. Terra. Get away from that thing. Best screaming sound effect in the SNES. <laughs> but really, we couldn't be bothered to, like, upgrade it a little. <laughs> All right. Here you get to look at the overworld and try and guess where she's going based on a map you don't know. So I guess it's made a lot easier with this map given the dots are on it. A little drunk as she gets there, by the way. Oh. Are you awake? Where's Terra? She turned into a something and flew off. She looked like... No, she looked like an Esper. Luck, are you okay? Something happened to Terra. There must be some connection between her and that Esper. We need to find her. Witnesses said she went streaking westward across the sky beyond Figaro. We've got to hurry. I promised I'd protect her. Lock. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Empire will be back again for that Esper. And someone needs to protect Bannon. She is a former Imperial soldier. But still. We must help her. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay here to guard against further attacks. Figaro Castle can shuttle the others to the western province. It shouldn't be hard to track down clues in Kolingen or Jador as to Terra's whereabouts. Alright, so Locke's gotta go. He promised to protect her. We need both brothers because there's a scene in the castle. And uh, Celeste for some magic. Do thy best. We must save Terra. No. Uh, let's see. Please find Terra. The future of the world rests in her hands. I heard Terra turn into a ball of light and shot away to the west. Right. Well, da -da. And by the way, this sprite for Locke, um, oh, I'm just this angle. They need to work on it a little, but. 
It's, uh, it's actually, I realize it's partially based on his character artwork, but it's his, uh, what is it? Dissidia Domina or something? Sprite is what, or costume is what it's mostly based on, so. I didn't play Dudas, so I don't know. Alright, so we are gonna just go outside and save. And we can come back in town and do some shopping later. And that is going to do it for tonight. Four hours, nine minutes, I completed my Kafka at Narsh speedrun, which is very slow, but doable. Um, and that is how you, um, you know, that's how you play the game, I guess. Um, no, that's how you start the game. That's what I meant to say. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And keep your eyes peeled for some more RP Gamer content tonight with Wheels coming on later. A few hours, a couple hours, hour and a half. Two and a half hours? Something like that. And uh, more stuff in the weeks to come. Subscribe, like, and I think this will end up on YouTube too. So if you're on the if you're on the YouTube game, shout outs to you there. So thanks everyone. Catch you probably tomorrow or the day after for some more Final Fantasy VI.